Hello, my dear Neat Warriors. Over my teaching career, I have solved tens and thousands of questions. And almost more than 10,000 questions were really unique with regards to Neat Physics. Name any book, be it your errorless, MTG, your DC Pandey, or your H.C. Varma, or NCRT, Halliday Resnick, previous year books. And because I was a part of many coaching, I have solved even the coaching modules. And I used to do this because I'm teaching, I'm solving doubts, I'm making the tests, I'm making the assignments. And also every year as I teach, I rarely use the same problems. So I keep on changing. So that's the reason why I ended up solving so many books and so many questions. But the real question is, do you have to solve tens and thousands of unique questions which are there in all these books? The answer is no. The thing that I have seen is, as you start solving problems, the curve grows, 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 and then it starts saturating. I solve because I enjoy solving problems, but for you, you don't have time. You need to score marks in a limited amount of time. So can you reach my level? Can you reach the neat toppers level in this limited amount of time? The answer is yes. And I'm going to give you seven plus tricks for getting to my level. Because right now I'm at that stage, you give me any neat or JE problem, I'll be able to solve in minutes. And I have been producing ranks for the past many years. And I hope that this video too will be a game changer in your need preparation and you too will get into the habit of problem solving in a very, very easy manner. So make sure you smash the like button and show your love, extend your support to the channel as well as me and also subscribe to the channel. So thank you so much. If you have done that, let's proceed ahead. Do you also get stuck while solving problems in the mock test or at home? Well, that's a very common problem. It's because the way you started solving the problems, the way you ended the problem solving sessions in the revision part and the manner in which you are doing things were probably not the right way. So today I will actually tell you what is the right way to do things. Okay. So don't worry. I'll give you a good understanding of how to solve. First thing is always see the teacher solving the problem properly see what the teacher is doing, why he's doing. If you are in an interactive class, try to ask doubts if, when needed. Also try to see the solved examples. Many students ignore the solved examples. No, please see the solved examples. And the third step is very important in this. After this, close the solution. Just take the problem without saying try to complete it because you know you have watched it or seen it. So try to get till the end and if you get stuck, try to, you know, play the video or see a part of the solution. This will, first of all, build the basic concept. Next thing is scaling up. Always start with substitution based where values are given in the formula you put it or directly from theory. It was based on this particular concept or this law. And that is why this is the reason. Some statement based questions do not ever just solve a problem and go to the next one. Try variations like, you know, okay, what if it, this was happening in this situation? What if the electric field was reversed? Or what if the gravity increases? And then also try to do reverse. This was given, this was asked. What if this is given and this is asked? Try to go reverse. You will learn many new things. Also try to go to medium level or mixed concept problems where the steps are, you know, little bit more in number, maybe it's little lengthy. So try to go to those problems after these easy questions. So slowly scale from easy to average to multi-step, multi-concept, and then the difficult part. That is very important because many people I have heard saying that first we solve hard and then we solve easy. No, that's not correct. Try to say no for solving all the problems. It's okay. You can solve maybe 30 to 40% questions when you learn from the teacher, try to solve the questions in installments. Like now you solve 30, 40%. After some weeks, you solve the remaining 30, 40%. And then the remaining problems during the revision phase. That's perfectly okay. Because quality always overpowers quantity. 
is the type of the problems that you solve. Even if you solve one lakh problems, it's of no use. If you have not done it sincerely. So do not try to complete all the questions in the module. It is perfectly okay. You can leave few questions for revision. And you should know which questions you are left. So make sure you mark them or else you will be confused which problems I solved. One technique which many students used to do is they used to solve only odd questions first and then they used to solve even questions during revision or some later on point of time. So you can also follow some technique like that. When you get stuck what to do? Often it will happen. Try to go reverse. Oh, I want to find this. For finding this, I need this. If I want to get to this, from this, I need this and this and that's how I come there. Try to form a link. Also, somehow try to see the part of the solution if you are at home. Maybe first two lines or the first half a minute of a video of the solution. And then try to understand what can you do next. Sometimes you can also ask for a hint from your friend or your doubt teacher or maybe some app and then see what you can do ahead. Never see the complete solution. That's of no use. And if none of these works, leave that question. It's okay. And come back after some time. Maybe some other question will teach you something which will help you in the previous question. It often happens. So try leaving a question. It happens even in the exam. If you come back, you will suddenly understand how to solve the question which you are not able to. The fifth one is how much time you spend and the number of questions. Always spend more time on easy questions. Yes, not on theory, not on hard questions. In easy questions, when you do variations, substitutions and many other methods, you learn a lot, you build up concepts and it takes a lot of time. When you build so many concepts, then solving the hard questions becomes easy. Always in physics, in NEAT especially, the theory should take the least amount of time. Making notes should take the least amount of time. Maximum time with easy and average questions, medium amount of time with hard questions and least time with the theory actually. So try to focus more on problem solving. So say for example, you pick up a very small chapter, then solve at least 70 questions minimum. You can increase it even more if you want. And if you take a big chapter, let's say for like rotation, then at least 200 problems. So that's the approximate amount that you need to solve per chapter. Also what you should avoid, never ever try to eliminate something because you know, you can see, oh, these dimensions are not matching. I'll eliminate, I solve. That's of no use because what guarantee you will be able to eliminate in the actual exam. Also, never ever just read the solution. Oh, this is the solution. Okay, I understood. Never ever do that. Always write, use your pen or pencil and write and never even just watch the solution. That's of no use. Remember that. Also, never do the problem mentally. Okay, from this I can find that, from that I can find this. Mm, calculation, okay, I'll do, no problem, I'll manage in the exam. Okay, I understood how to solve. Fine, next. No use at all, okay. Also, do not try to use some special case formula. Oh, that teacher over there told me this formula I can use in this type of problem in this condition. Very, very specific. Might not be applicable every time. So try to learn the more generic method. Try to learn the reasoning behind it. Also know when not to use the formula or else you will face negative marks. And this is very important. Don't use a calculator for calculations. Do it even at home, even when there is less time. Don't think that I have to hurry up and complete 100 questions in one day. No, it's okay. Use your hand, use your pencil and pen and then try to calculate. Seventh, this is very important and that is be the teacher. This is so crucial that you will see the difference as you start doing it. When somebody asks a doubt to somebody else and if you know the answer or you think you can help, try to get involved. Maybe, maybe you might tell the wrong solution, but then you will have a debate, argument and you will learn a lot. If you know something, try to teach it to others. If you can solve somebody's doubt on the group, try to solve it. If you can help somebody, do that. When you teach, when you help, you learn even more. Trust me on this. I learned more as a teacher than as a student. Not because a teacher is supposed to know more, but that's the way it is. When you teach, you learn so many things. You start thinking about so many things because when you're teaching, you need to know everything or at least that's the mindset. So that's the reason why be the teacher helps a lot in problem solving. And the bonus tip 
is in our channel we give you daily practice quizzes assignments after all the classes you open up any of the previous classes which have been conducted let's say the super 6 series you will see a dpp quiz give that after every class whether it is on the topic or out of the topic doesn't matter but try to give it try to see the solution use the same approaches which i have told you you will see slowly you will get into the habit of problem solving and these dpps are absolutely free of cost so the links will be there in the description not of this video but of the other theory lectures so remember one thing that you know you earn your trophies at you know at practice but you just pick them up at competitions meaning whatever work you do at home is the real is the real trophy of your need is just that you do a formality by going to the examination hall and you know you just fill up the bubbles and that's it you exit the hall and you get your result that's just a formality so all the work happens in the last months and the years of struggle in the run up to the neat you know examination so i hope you learned a lot from this video i hope you are going to apply them in your problem solving ahead and please comment about how you enjoyed and what you learned through this video any doubts please feel free to comment as well thank you so much this is captain shreyas signing off hasta la vista